We absolutely love traveling to places that are less explored, filming vlogs and sharing with you guys how incredible it can be to go off the typical tourist path. So when Spain Tourism invited us to check out the north of Spain, we were instantly curious. They mentioned to us that it was peaceful, relaxed, full of tradition and with fewer crowds. So it sounded like an absolute winner to us. So we've just finished up an epic weekend in an area called Asturias and we genuinely fell in love with the place. Over the next few videos we'll share why you need to visit the north of Spain and some of the most incredible things you can get up to in as little as a weekend as well. For a more detailed rundown check out our blog post guide to 48 hours in Asturias which we'll link below but for now let's jump into day one. So after a two hour flight from London we're in Asturias, Spain. So we're in, the, we're in the capital at the moment, which is called Oviedo, and already like we're just looking out onto these these mountains, and the sun is starting to come down. Unreal. So this area is actually known for its nature, its beaches, um, its food, which mm. we're excited for, and also its cider. Um, like scenery, architecture. Yeah. Already, first stop. This is only like three kilometers out of town, which is right there. It's a Santa Maria Palace and it's been later converted into a church and it's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it just sits up on this hill here just overlooking. It's chill, the sun's going down and there's actually not too many people around. Something also that we just found out, a really cool story is up here, apparently with these Romanesque sort of architecture or these structures, uh, this here is like a hidden passage so inside that chamber you can't reach it from anywhere else inside the building here it's believed to be that that's where the king would score the gold and everything so that nobody could reach it because there was nowhere to get up Taking a walk through the centre of the town is always a good option. It's actually a um, Spanish holiday today, so it's a little it's a little bit quieter than it might normally be. One thing we're finding walking around the town of Oviedo is that it's just so clean, very modern, and very well kept and very well maintained. So there's a beautiful mixture around the town here, and from what we've been told as well, it's a very there's a very elegant sort of feel, and we can get that looking around. There's there's gentlemen walking around because they really do look like gents with you know the the cardigan over the shoulder and the ladies all look really pristine and there's these beautiful buildings mixed in with some old and some history some little shops and everything it just seems like there's a really good balance of everything all in one place nestled in amongst the mountains Only a few minutes off the luxury sort of walking in shopping streets and you head into this old town you can feel the shift in the architecture and there's always a bit of a change in the the footing and the the structure of the buildings and how they sort of appear and these older spots some that haven't necessarily been restored or are in the process of being restored and then look at this there's the cathedral right at the end here it looks so beautiful at night time with the lights out for sure. In this region of Spain you have to try the cider as well. We've had a couple of glasses here, but we're going to save it for tomorrow so you can see the full experience. But this is what a typical cider bar looks like. This guy's about to pour, but I'm going to cut because you can't see this yet. So just as important as the cider is the food, which we're very excited about. We've heard great things about all of the food from this region. Gastronomy is the way that it's been laid out to us. <laughs> Gastronomy of Northern Spain. <laughs> so the thing is, we can't put all of the food and the experiences that we're going to have in this one 48 hour experience. So we've decided to pull together all of the food experiences into one big mega 
all you can Spain eat. Spain <laughs> video. The catchphrase for this place is natural paradise. It's a natural paradise. It is a natural paradise. Apparently there's motorways that connect up from Oviedo very easily and so we've come to this beach which is called Playa Turumbia to check out this like coastal headland overlooking the ocean on this, well the ocean on both sides actually, but we've got the sun rising up through the mountains over the water over this side. And then a cove over the other side. Cove, like white sandy little beach here, there's little hikes and walks and everything around. It is just like, it's a magical place and an amazing way to start the day for sure. Next stop is Janus, which is probably one of the more popular places to come in Asturias. Yeah, so the, the reason that people come here is because it's where the mountains sort of meet the sea. So it's got a little bit of everything. You can you can go hiking or horse riding out in the mountains. It's like quad biking and really yeah, outdoorsy yeah. nature outdoorsy stuff, stuff, isn't it? But then you've also, if you just want to chill out, you've also just got the, uh, the sea. You've got the beaches. So there's kind of something for everybody yeah it seems like it was once was a little fishing village it sort of still is I suppose we're about to find out or see how much of that is still left but there's apparently medieval like structures and everything that still exists and then having the ocean right there it's like it just seems like a perfect little combination yeah quirky little tales about what what has been done in cities like this it's so interesting this building just behind us back here is where um, once the locals fish once the local fishermen would catch whales there used to be a lot of whales around here <laughs> they would take them inside this big building and it's what it's like apparently the whale had so many uses yeah so, so they would like deconstruct them they'd use their bones for construction their teeth for brushes um, they'd use the, the oil for candles yeah and, and then, then obviously they'd get loads of meat to eat as well. It's insane. There's just so much, so much going on around here. And even just in the corner, that's uh, a medieval tower, I suppose, which was part of what was used to make up the city walls. And people would have to come through and be charged to come into the area. But just everywhere we go, it's so nice and quiet at the moment, of course, because it's early in the morning. Betty, what are you doing? This is absolute insanity. Just spent maybe uh, 20 or 30 minutes driving up through these, like, up through these mountains. Everything is just so green. I'm still a bit, st still a bit stunned trying to get my words out. It, really, it looks like a painting. <laughs> it really does. I think that's probably the best way to describe it. I don't think we've experienced a site, like a park, anything like this in any of our travels. 